Well, it's time to play with your food one more time. We're going to do a little experimenting, and we're going to check some things out. But first, let me tell you how this episode came to be. So we're over at the supermarket, and my wife's uh, standing in line, and she just can't stand in line. She's got to look at the magazines and read all the gossip and then look at the candy and the gum, and it's like, seriously, you're going to fall for all this, uh, all this sudden impulse selling? But, yep, she does. And then she saw this big thing of, of Tic Tacs. It's a big, huge thing. And, in fact, it holds 200 mints, this large thing, right? It's like the biggest Tic Tac thing I've ever seen. But if you turn it sideways, it looks empty. My wife's like, hmm, I wonder if there's really 200 in there. And I thought, oh, I got a great idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to examine some products real quick. We're going to see what they're really giving us, okay? So why don't you come in close and let's take a look. Let's get started with it. First, we're going to start with the Tic Tacs. Then we're going to look at gum. And then we're going to look at the mixed nuts. So let's move those off to the side real quick. And just open the Tic Tacs. It's brand new. It still has a seal on it. All right. And I, I wonder if I can take the whole cap off. Probably not. Can I take the whole cap? Oh, yeah. I think I can. Whoa! No, I didn't lose any. They're on the table, I swear. Not one rolled off the table. Don't panic. <laughs> But you can take the lid off. So here we go. Whew, they all stayed on this cutting board. Beautiful. So let's get them all together. And then we'll slowly pour the rest out. Don't want you to think I, I'm gaming this. I don't know. It looks like a lot to me. There you go. All right. Now we're going to group them off into tens. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, it came out evenly. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow. Check that out. Exactly 200. What machine counts exactly 200? I wonder if they do it by weight. I have no idea. These things are so tiny. I mean, look at this. Who's going to make sure that exactly 200 of these? Probably the same system they use for pills. Okay, now, Orbit's, I don't know, Orbit, Orbit Gum. I don't know if you guys know that. I think these two companies are identical, but we're going to try them both. Uh, they have the same type of packaging. So it's probably owned by the same company, but let's test it out anyway. Claims to have 120 pieces, so let's break the seal and count them up. Okay, the whole thing's out here. I poured it all out on this cutting board, and... The container is completely empty, no crumbs at all. And we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 109. And look at this. This isn't even a whole piece. It's just a piece. It's a, it's a broken piece. You can see that. It's just a broken piece. So truly, <laughs> not that I'm going to care, but just to, just to prove whether they're sticking to what they're supposed to, Tic Tacs did a better job. Uh, Orbit gum ripped me off a half a piece of gum. Somebody get them on the phone. I need to speak with them. Okay, now let's check Juicy Fruit out next. Okay, this is kind of cool because I didn't expect this. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, and right there it says 120 pieces. So, see that? So, this is totally cool. So I totally got five extra pieces to make up for the half a piece I was missing in my orbit. So that's pretty cool. All right. That's awesome. It's nice to know that they uh, throw in a few extra, huh? Now, I don't know what kind of mixed nuts you guys get. Some of the most popular is planters. So I picked up planters, lightly salted mixed nuts. Okay. And uh, it says less than 50% peanuts. So there's peanuts, almonds. Can you see the different choices? The light's kind of shining. So I'm going to lay out the different peanuts. Then you're going to tell me which one you think you get the most of in this can. Okay? So let me lay those out for you right now. You're looking at the peanut. We have the almond, the cashew, the Brazil nut, the hazelnut, and the pecan. Which one's going to have the most in this can of planters mixed nuts? Think about it. Pick which one before I do it. Get it in your mind. And let's see if you're right. Wow, check that out. 
Did you imagine? Okay, it's pretty close. These are the peanuts. These are the almonds. Brazil nuts, which you barely get any of. Oh, pecans. Look how sad that is. That's a joke. And I mean, they're all broken in pieces, too. Then you have the few of these hazelnuts, and then you have the cashews, which I enjoy a lot. Cashews are really popular with people. But the, the can claims to be less than 50% peanuts. Now, I'm not sure if they're talking by weight or by volume or what, but uh, wow. Yeah, if that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's less than 50%, but still, that's a lot of peanuts. Well, there you go. Wow, that was interesting, huh? I learned a few things myself. Okay, so the next time you get something from the store and you're kind of curious of whether the count is right, just lay it out and count it. If it's wrong, take a picture and post it on our, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash cooking with Jack. I'll see you on the next episode. Be looking for the Halloween episode. It's coming up.